All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to another video, another MIC ESPN highlight reel that we do at the end of the week. Every single week, just to recap the week, make sure that you guys are up to speed. First thing I want to show you is if you have any questions throughout any of this webinar or you're asking yourself, like, how can I get some more information? Guys, text 213-458-5997. This is going to be my go-to for information. And if you need uh, to extrapolate into more information, just have more personalized experience, what we're going to do is I, sh I will show you how to book a call with yours truly. But guys, let's get into this. I'm super excited. So this was a fun week. So we are coming in Monday the 13th. I already have the first, um, I already have the first chart queued up. We are on CMND on the 13th, Monday. And actually, believe it or not, I don't even think Alex traded on Monday. So we have three of Val's charts and we're going to go through them. So here's what we're going to do. So I know I like to give the contrast every now and then between Alex and Bao because while we trade the exact same style, they trade the exact same process. It's very nuanced. And to be honest, Bao trades all day. So while Alex will trade the first hour of the morning, there's still a lot to be learned throughout the day, which Bao is really good at. So what do we have, guys? We have coming in the morning. Bao does exactly what he should have done. You know, there's the million dollar setup right here, that morning push right to VWAP. When something is this heavily broken, especially opening far from highs and way under VWAP, that first push is going to be the money maker. Now, here is the second part, though. If a stock, and I want to make this very clear, guys, you have to, like, this is some free game for you. Once you make this money right here and, and be really quick about it, you know, scale VWAP into the next line and cover down here, they can always shoot back. So when they do, the million dollar setup is literally just make that money right here. If you decide to play on, that's definitely on you. But if you do decide to play on, you got to use the outer resistance points. So theoretically, right here, you're getting in. Those are your entries, you know, VWAP around there. You're covering right here. That's the first trade, guys, every single morning. That's the first trade when it's way broken down under VWAP. This is the second. You must wait for outer lines. You don't want to be getting in here just because it's back up and you're like a covered. Let me put my recycles on. No, guys. No, no, no. You got to use outer lines, outer resistance points. So that's exactly what Bao did. He did such a phenomenal job. Let me kind of zoom back into this. Um, and then once this was broken down heavily under VWAP, now you have the luxury of hitting pops under VWAP because the relation of VWAP is super broken. So as we say all the time, and like I said, I want to give you some free game. When it fails right here, there you go for reshorts. You always want to be reshorting where the stock failed before. So if it's over VWAP, guys, or it's on that first morning push, you got to go with the first one. You got to go to outer lines. And then once it's very, very much heavily anchored under VWAP, then you can use the push points to risk VWAP. And then obviously, if it failed right here, that's where you want to be. If it failed right here, that's where you want to be until it doesn't work. So really quick, I just kind of wanted to go through that. I don't usually um, have enough time on these webinars to kind of just like teach you a bunch of lessons. But I think that we've been kind of teaching you guys this all week that I think it'd be really cool to at least show one example. And then let's go back to UNCY on the 20 day on the 13th. Uh, that is right here. Bao did a wonderful job, guys, of once this low-hanging fruit was basically breaking under red to green, he did exactly what he should, and he hammered this, and just very clean, very clean, very clean red to green short. Like, you red to green, green to red, I'm talking about this white line, guys, when this breaks, um, and it's following sentiment, and it's following trend on whatever way it is, whether it's a low-hanger, or, you know, just one that's completely super strong and blasting through and teleporting through, riding that continuation sentiment is very key, and that's exactly what Bao did. Let's take a look at OSHA. This was definitely in play this week. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here. What is this, 9th, 10th? Uh, trying to find the 13th, 40th, there we go, guys. Uh, Bao did exactly what he should have done. And actually, I have to zoom out for this example only because it's very key on why he did what he did. What do I say every single webinar that you guys need to learn? When day one and day two get super slaughtered, you need to wait for a massive dead cap bounce, guys. You can't be hitting right here. You can't be hitting. You need this bastard to bounce big. And that's exactly what he did. So Bao was capturing, you know, the outer move of the big bounce, playing exactly as he should, guys. Like where to fail before, scaling into those lines and covering on dips right here. So that was the day. You get this dead cap bounce. And then you basically just get, well, it filled up to here. So he's willing to risk and scale on these pop upwards of these levels because he's already cushioned from the morning. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like, it's just like the Picasso. So I'm telling you guys, there is a real science to this. And once you get processed down, it's game over for you, man. It's game over. Let's see what the members are doing. So 
I will. I, I loved what Lavas did on, did on CMND on this reclaim. Sold right where he should have. Right knew where it failed before. Really good use of lines. Uh, D Lee, A A M A M A M A M. Really good job, guys. Waiting for this to top out. Hitting it on the front side. You know, front side shorts require front side covers, kind of thing. Even though it's a micro trend, and maybe it look. It might even be a macro downtrend, or it might be low hanging fruit, might be something barely getting past red to green. Whatever it is, guys, macro, you don't want to fight it. In the micro, you got to be a counter trend player because you got to wait for these pops. You got to wait for these top outs, and that's exactly what D, D Lee did. So, really good job there. And then once he saw that that was the top right there, where are you going to be? Right where it failed before. Chooch, my man Chooch, doing exactly what I just talked about for the last, whatever, five minutes, guys. Where did the stock fail before? That's where you want to be. You want to be patient for it. Unless you're a veteran and you can play the, you know, the waves in between the tsunamis, it's up to you, but just know what you're getting into. Like right here, uh, P.O. did a good job, but he was a little bit early on this. This is what I was talking about. Bow didn't do, and remember, guys, that's the million-dollar setup right there in the morning. It's very, very, very high odds of success. You don't want to just get in right here. So I'm going to critique this one just a little bit to make him better, but P.O. should have been, this should have been his first re-entry versus right here just because oh okay i'm cushioned now it's back up no guys that's step one this is step two and then step three is all of it under vwap so that's like step one step two step three let's see fabian cmnd beautiful job as well million dollar setup waited for the other one you guys tell me you guys are starting to see that our process is so unbelievably and unequivocally and unimaginably good that all of our members are starting to understand why you don't hit right here. If you do, you know, it was FOMO, maybe you did a little bit. Guys, this is just freaking picture perfect, man. Fabian smoked it. And I don't care if he made $10 on that trade. I don't care if he made $10 million. I don't know his P&L. But I'm going to tell you right now, his process obliterated that stock. And that's what it's all about, guys. So we're coming in at Tuesday, 5.3K for Alex. Not bad for a slow day. All eyes were on the bank stocks, which we've been talking about for the last two weeks, and large caps due to CPI. Did not want to deviate from my niche today, so patiently waited for a small, uh, a nice small cap stock to, you know, just to scalp. Took the money and ran away on EUDA as it dipped under three. Alex made $5,300, and here's what's cool, guys. Alex gave us a really cool rundown of what he was thinking about with EUDA. Let me pull this up for you. So that is going to be the 14th. This is an interesting one too, guys, because it was kind of running and like blasting in the morning the last couple days before this day. But here's what Alex said. Let me give the full commentary real quick. Alex, starter size into resistance. So into this morning, guys, really good job. He saw this first, you know, kind of can't actually, I'll just zoom in for you. He saw this first candle kind of top out with that wick, started getting in, added to a winner after the rejection candle. So that's why you can see him. Uh, it looks like a little bit in here. So he's adding to a winner. And then here's what happened. Death candle with volume, guys. This was it. I'll expand the volume, elevated volume. Steven and I were talking about this. Once this happened, this death candle, this stuff candle, this elevated volume happened, then it was time to get in. So death candle with volume gave me confidence to add more. And then final add after 330 resistance failed and Alice covered up um, near that major tank. So it's just a beautiful job, guys. There was a lot of indicators on something that's already parabolic. It's stuffed once, add to a winner when it's breaking. And then once you get that clarification, you know, of wow, this is a this is a lot of people trapped in the long side. It was kind of game over for confidence. So covered on the washout and called it a day. Target was sub three. Really, really good job, Alex. Just beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, bringing his small account challenge, which obviously you guys know, started the started the year at thirty five k account. He's at nine hundred and seventy nine thousand guys. I love this. Alex is right there. He has the goal of hitting a million, and we know he's going to do it. Knock on wood. It's just a matter of time. All right, Bond coming in with a beautiful backside short on AMC. Continuation play down. Just beautiful. Ride the sentiment. Ride the trend. EUDA soy sauce doing exactly the exact trade what Alex was doing, guys. When Alex creates a watch list every single morning, your first job is to read that watch list and figure out how he's executing because he's just done this for so long, guys. So you got to ride the coattails of the Titans. Ryan Conley, I love this. Really nice long on AI. Sold right where it failed before. So you got to pay attention to these levels on where you want to sell versus where you want to short. It's kind of, guys, they're kind of the same areas depending if you're a long or a short, I'm telling you. So you got to know like where a good entry point would be. And then the other side has to know where a good exit point would be. Welcome to trading.
Uh, Rockman coming in with PXMD. The reason why I like this, not every trade is going to be a win, but if you cut it immediately, you don't have big losses, baby. Uh, Rockman on UNCY, really good job. Nice push through the red to green. Nice fail, covered it on UNCY. Love it. Using lines, very good use case of lines. Coming into Wednesday, guys, I don't have a chart from Alex, but what I do have is a PL. Alex, 3.1K, another day on the of the banking stocks taking all the attention. THMO was the hot stock in the morning that failed. Patiently waited for a bounce and took the easy money. Now walking away before zombie hours. I'll just pull it up really quick, guys, for the sake of what he was talking about. Um, THMO on the 15th, which was, that is here, 15th right here. So, so as you guys can see, this was the pop Alex was talking about. This thing was kind of like dropping, opening far from highs. Fantasy orders waiting right here, guys. It's a no-brainer. You would have been paid immediately. And then just wrap up for zombie hour. And thank God the people that did and didn't swing this because <laughs> you would have got smoked for holding this. Well, actually, technically not. You would have gotten bailed out. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It depends on how hard your nuts are, how, how big a rocks you got. Because if you would have just swung this and you're like some random gambler who's like, let me swing short this overnight, you would have been stuck. You would have got bailed out pre-market, but most people would have stopped out right here so they wouldn't have gotten bailed out. A very lucky few guys would have gotten bailed out or continued to help and got smoked again. So that's why, guys, you always want process. You never just want to get in here and just swing short for the sake of swinging short. You really want to know the variables. And honestly, at the end of the day, guys, it's just stressful. It's just so stressful. Like, why not make your easy money and then do exactly what Alex does? Just run! Bro, make the money and run. Make the money and run. Even Val, like, he trades 40,000 times a day. But guess what? He's never swing shorty. He's just, boom, made my money out, made my money out, made my money out. Why have that level of stress when something like THMO can happen? And there's buy-ins. So just a whole other topic of discussion. But guys, PO on MVLA. I love this. Beautiful job at highs. Covered, cushioned himself, and uh, and cushioned right, right in the morning tank. It's just lovely. THMO Fabian made his money. And then guess what? He was out of there. I love it, dude. I love it. So he probably didn't have fantasy orders to be quick enough to get those. But what happened was he got in right here, cushioned himself, got in right here, was probably scared for 10 seconds, thinking that he'll have to cut at a pre-market high. It stuffed hard. He added and was like, hell yeah, let's go off to the races, covered for a nice win. Uh, let's see. Christian coming in, a beautiful long on HUBC. I just love this, guys. Not every trader at MIC at all is a short seller, a lot or not. And it just goes to show that a community based on longs and shorts can cohesively like dude i'm telling you cohabitate together because they literally know process and where good exits are and where good entries are and vice versa so it makes both parties able to have a serious edge but they just have to be patient for their edge great job zai i love this we're seeing our members through the disciplinary workshop guys get better really clean i mean members charts are looking clean man seriously if that doesn't look clean to you then i don't know what is uh let's see alex coming in with 3,500 on THMO again, had an offering pre-market that I missed. That was the movement we were just talking about, guys, where people would get bailed out, maybe. You know, if they, were, <laughs> if they didn't get bought in at highs, those swing shorts. Um, waited for the bounce to short and uh, scalped it for a nice win. LIPO, L-I-P-O, patiently waited for the death candle. VWAP projection is shorted, slow, and steady, 3,500. I do have the THMO chart. I don't have every chart, guys, just because I need to keep these webinars a little bit more um, efficient and quick. But we'll go over this one. Obviously, Alex said the uh, the offering hit. Smoked it at 520, covered at 440. So while that looks like a little move, guys, that's actually a lot of volatility pre-market. Once the offering hit, I mean, honestly, Long's confidence goes out the window. So just something to think about. Alex at 986000 for the year. I have never wanted Alex to win more than right now so he can prove that his goal was reached and hopefully reached as soon as possible. So knock on wood, baby. Let's get Alex to a milli. Um, let's see, E coming in, FRC, FRC First Republic, short continuation play, really nice job, under VWAP, followed it down, did a really nice process there, Rockman again, great job on THMO, waited for that nice pop to where it failed before, sheesh, caught that offering, man, just, just unbelievable, um, it's always fun when those happens, guys, I've caught many offerings over my career, and it's, it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about what he used to catch a pump. Like, there's no feeling like it. It's not that you should just be gutting for catching offerings. But, man, when you catch one, it really is fun.
it's a, it's an adrenaline rush for sure. You degenerate junkies like myself. Uh, UNCY. Here's the thing, guys. You're not going to win every time. So frontside shorts require frontside covers or a frontside stop out if you're wrong. I love the risk management here, what Rockman did. Oh, my God. Check this out. I know I'm rambling, but check this out. Math 0110. I'm talking fast. This kid. It, look at this, guys. That's a full green month. I remember the days when this guy could not pull months like this. He is pulling some serious months. So just goes to show you, if you're not a part of MIC, you are missing out every single day at opportunity cost. Really good job, Travers. Just a beautiful process. This kid, this kid's get it, man. He cuts it when it doesn't pay him immediately, and he rides it all day when it pays him. This kid gets it, man. This this kid gets it. So there's not much more to say on that. He just gets it. Let's see. $900 for Alex. I don't have any charts, but I have a couple bow charts that I do want to show you. $939 for the day. PXMB shorted the bounce, but after it pretty much did nothing... I kind of got out for a small scalp. This really felt like it could zombie. Instead, it pretty much tanked. Looking forward to starting the weekend. Z, Z, Z. Time for a... <laughs> time for a relaxing weekend. I hear that, buddy. PXMD. Let me pull that up for you guys just so you have some frame of reference. PXMD. You know, we have a stock that's been up for a little while, guys. Um, you know, kind of a week. Just kind of bopping around. And Alex... I, I think Alex got in right here, but... As he should have, right? Right before, you know, zombie hour kicks in, you know, this is the pop to a resistance level, catch that drop and cover out. Or maybe it was this pop pre-market, which you could have covered immediately in uh, in the open because it was way under VWAP and kind of pushed and hit right there. So either one would have worked, would have been a nice process and a really good job. All right, guys, now we're going to see what the members did. Let's see what the members did on Friday. The members were crushing it, man. The, me the members every single day are just getting it. Every single day is just reiteration on what to do, how to execute on it, and specifically as a community, guys. So E on ENZ short. I loved it. Busy day. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Really, really good job. Where to fail before? Outer lines. Rockmon scalped and held it around it held core from two for a VWAP reclaim. Really nice job, guys. Not every trade in this community is a short. And specifically, people like Rockman, who are very ambidextrous on long and short, or Ryan Conley, or people like David, which I sometimes showcase, it's just really cool to see the different sides. And, you know, I love what Travers did right here. Again, this kid's got really good process. He'll get in, he'll cut it if he needs to. If it holds, he'll get back in and ride a stock much longer than if it's paying him, than when he's wrong and he'll cut it immediately. And these are just three really good examples of that. Always capturing a big move at least a portion of it because that's what you should be doing at least a portion i don't care if it's five ten percent guys it's really well done big shout out to reba 46 lifetime member i love this look at these months guys very 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 low red days if any so really good job math and reba diego diego nice job at enz love this where it failed before outer lines he's going to play around that area and look, sometimes, guys, these things just don't break down, you know, crazy as much as you want. Sometimes, you know, whether they're low hangers or they don't have a crazy amount of volatility, still sticking to process and having sniper entries, even if the volatility kind of dries up, is going to make your job 1,000 times easier every single time, guys. So check this out. I wanted to show you, this is our community, guys. <laughs> Perfect timing. Vic just posted something really cool. Like, looks like he's on vacation. Nice. One of our moderators. God, that's beautiful wherever he is. Um, but here's the cool part, guys. This is the community at large. We have a networking channel called After Hours where you showcase the community. You could post anything that you want. Well, within reason. Uh, you know, it's really for networking. It's really showcasing past meetups and events, what you guys are eating, share your stories, share your life stories, share your car if you want. One of our members bought a car the other day. Dude, it's just so cool, man. MIC is really changing lives. Check this out, though. So if we go to the watch list channel, guys, every single day we have a watch list. Monday through Friday, obviously, when the stock market is open. Alex is giving a very detailed analysis of where to extrapolate edge and how to take that to what we call the main trading chat right here. And as you guys can see, charts, fills, warnings, price action, everything in between real time. You know, Steven, Bao, Aloha Trader, all the mods, everybody is in here educating daily to make sure that you understand what you should be getting into and out of. And then every now and then Bao makes really like funny jokes. I'm like, I can't turn off my computer and this is him. And <laughs> uh, and if you know Bao, that totally is him, by the way. Uh, just super funny. Just really funny time. Really fun time. Really exciting time. Welcome to trading, guys. And while good trading is boring, it's also exciting to trade with everybody who's doing the same thing that you're doing. And this is the power of community, as you guys can see. 
We have a large cap and options room, guys. We have a swing trading room down here. We have everything that you want to pay attention to, whether the bank stocks are going down or small cap piggies are running. This is a full community in of itself, and it's uh, here to, it, it, I know this is going to sound funny, but satisfy your trader needs. That sounds so cliche, but guys, it really does. If we go to myinvestingclub.com, there's three things I want you to pay attention to. The first thing is one hour free training right here. Guys, literally click this if you're not a member. Put in your information. Get a one hour free training. You'd be crazy not to. It's literally free. Scroll down. You can see Alex's broker statements right here. He's If you count this year, guys, he's literally anywhere from eight to nine million dollars in the last like four years. Like, like this isn't his whole trading career. This is like just the last four years. This is crazy. Um, so if you want to see that, you can book a call right here with myself. Um, this is very important because, guys, if you need to text my line quickly for a text back, I can text you. Or if you need to actually flush out some real questions and answers, just book a call. Now, if I go, I want to show you one last thing. If I go to the video library, this is very key. So check this out. We have a search feature for all of our content, all of our videos. So let's say you wanted to look up FOMO because it's really biting in the butt. And uh, we have all of our videos, you know, timestamp in order on whatever you're looking for. If you scroll down, we have a full curriculum right here of content, starting with the accelerator course, getting started in the curriculum, then going into phase study guide, which are really, really concentrated good videos of our video library. And then if you scroll all the way down here, you're going to see Alex's live trades. And to get access to this, guys, um, obviously this is this one only is exclusive to lifetime members. We got to make something exclusive to lifetime members, guys. We're not an upsell community. Almost everything's included in every tier, but there are a couple features which we do give to the lifetime. So you got to know that. So when you join MIC, it's not like, oh my God, I only get this much, you know, access and this and this, and then I don't have access. I got to upsell. We are not that type of community, guys. But there are just a couple features that are going to be worth the lifetime's time. It took us a lot of time and money to do, and we want to make sure that all lifetime members have access to that. So this is a lifetime exclusive series on this one. But if you do want to watch these, just DM me or text and we can upgrade you whatever if you're interested. Now check this out. These are live trades from Alex. Alex is going to record his screen live. $12,000 on LSTA, $11,400 on B BCAN, you know, BCAN. What he does is while he's trading, he records his screen. And then after the fact, he adds audio commentary so you guys can learn and grow together and with him and see what it looks like when he's trading. He's not going to audio record it while he's trading, guys, because it's literally just going to mess up the whole thought process while he's trading. But during the trade, he is live screen recording and then after adds the audio commentary so you guys can get the full um, you know, thought process of what he was thinking at the time. He goes back in and does that for you. All right, as per tradition... I don't have anything for Monday, so 5,300 on Tuesday plus 3,100 on Wednesday plus 3,500 on Thursday plus what, 900 bucks, 900 bucks on Friday. Guys, $13,000 a week for Alex. Awesome job. I know he was coming off some sour weeks recently just because, you know, a couple things clipped him, but dude, he's right back on the horse doing a really good job. And uh, he's this, he's so freaky, guys, he's like, $13,000 off away, knock on wood from his million dollar goal for the year in the small account challenge. I know he's going to make it again, knock on wood, but yeah, guys, so almost a $13,000 a week. And that concludes the ESPN MIC highlight reel guys. I can't wait to do these every single week. Just to give you an update of what's going on at MIC, how you can benefit by becoming a member. And again, if you have any questions, guys, you got to text me, DM me, email me, or book a call. And I will see you next week, guys.